production of the J.R. Eldridge Show is made possible with financial support from Arnold, Batson, Turner & Turner, Attorneys at Law, Blake Bell of Edward Jones Investments, the accounting firm of Turner, Rogers, Manning & Plyler, PLLC, Southern Bank Corp, Mary and Martha's Florist and Gifts, Justin's, Doctors Rob and Gary Rucker, Taylor King, Personal Injury Lawyers, Twin Rivers Health and Rehabilitation, Welch Funeral Home, Roger Wingfield of State Farm Insurance, and Southwest Sporting Goods. This is the J.R. Eldridge Show with the coach of the Arkansas State Champion, Football Badger. Joining Coach Eldridge today is your host, Caleb Byrne. Welcome back to another week of the J.R. Eldridge Show. I'm your host, Caleb Bird, and we're joined by Coach J.R. Eldridge. And Coach, it was homecoming Friday night for the Badgers, and they came in and put in a really solid performance, defeating Bitten Harmony Grove by a score of 35-6. to six. Yeah, really excited about our guys' performance. Uh, you know, we uh, felt like we really bounced back. Uh, our really the Fountain Lake game really bounced back, had a great week in practice that week. Um, and then just kind of took that momentum into the next week and had a really good week of practice, uh, executed really well. Uh, still th some things that we've got to continue to work on cleaning up and getting better at. Uh, but, um, you know, really just proud of our guys and the way they, they, uh, they practiced hard throughout the week and then, um, and then executed in the game, gave a lot of effort. And, uh, Coach, you know, it feels a lot better to win than it does to lose, doesn't it? It really does. Uh, you know, it's two weeks in a row, and, uh, you know, those, those corrections that, we, that I'm, I'm, we're going to talk about uh, while we're here on this show, uh, those are a lot, a lot funner to work on after a win uh, than it is after a loss. So, uh, you know, and really, we've really put that first, those first five games behind us, and we've tried to move forward. I uh, feel like we have the last two weeks. We look, uh, look forward to another one and, and just trying to be 1-0 at the end of the, this next week. Um, had a good meeting with our players on Sunday and, um, and you know, really looking forward to our, our players just continue to, to work on playing our best football toward, uh, you know, toward the end of the regular season and taking that into the playoffs. All right, Coach. Let's take a look at some of that film from Friday night. Starting off, it was homecoming night, so they crowned the homecoming queen before the game. Lots of festivities going on. Congratulations to Caroline Derby for that. Um, and then the game started, the Badgers were on defense, and they really smothered the triple option attack from Fountain Lake. Yeah, I thought our defensive coaches, uh, Coach Kaiser, Coach Chandler, and Coach Myers had a great defensive game plan uh, for the, the Diamond T um, and, and their scheme and uh, felt like our players really executed. Our D-line really came off the ball, uh, did a great job. Um, and then our linebackers able to make plays and our secondary guys um, being able to cover the, the pitch and the, the quarterback. First play of the game here on offense, Zion Hatley able to get into space, pick up good yardage. And then Cannon Turner here, a few plays later, picking up some good yardage. So some good uh, movement on the ground game to start the game. I feel like we can continue to get better at our, our runs inside the box. Um, just continue to improve every week on that. You know, Haskell Harmony Grove, they, they play really hard. Um, and I felt like uh, we were able to, to do some of the things we really wanted to do. Uh, we're able to run the football um, and, also, um, and also connect on our play actions off of that. Cannon Turner breaking a few tackles, capping off a 14-play drive to start the game. I mean, that is just an immensely long drive. A couple weeks ago, that kind of drive probably wouldn't have happened because there were multiple third-down situations, and the Badgers just overcame some challenges on that drive to get in the end zone. Yeah, that's one of the things that we're getting better at, you know, um, you know in the past and, and really, um, you know, since probably 2012, 2013, we've been at, we've always been really good on our first drive, uh, 
whether it's a, a long drive or a one play drive, uh, you know, we've been really good at getting in the box. Defense coming back out here, forcing a turnover, um, you know, big pile and lots of gang tackling, but it seemed like there was lots of ripping at the football inside of those gang tackles. Yeah, those are, those are really game changing plays um, and really glad our defense continues to work on stripping the football, getting to the football and making sure tackles. First touchdown, you guys went for two, didn't convert. The second time you had this swinging gate formation, you get the two-point conversion. Yeah, we decided before the game that uh, the first two scores that we had, we'd go for two. We knew that uh, Haskell, Harmony, Grove, if they score, they're going to go for two uh, every time. So we felt like uh, we'd just go ahead and, and take care of that on the front end. Uh, we knew that if we did it twice, if we missed on the first one, we could make up for it on the second one. All right, so the defense coming back out here. Good tackle by Cole Turner there. He's going to force a punt. Um, and then Arkadelphia coming back out on offense, continuing to, uh, to do well. This, this drop, however, they're forced to punt. That's, that's the first time we've seen a punt. We haven't seen Arkadelphia punt much in the last two weeks. Yeah, uh, Gabe, Gabe did a really good job right there of uh, flipping the field. Um, and so Haskell starts the second quarter um, backed up inside their own 20. Uh, again, just our, our defensive line and our linebackers, um, really our whole defense just being, being aligned correctly every play, knowing exactly who, who they were in charge of as far as who they were supposed to tackle when they have the triple option uh, or the double option. Um, you know, just did a great job. Uh, and then tackling and get to the football was really, really good. So really proud of those guys and the way they executed. Um, you know, and just just our special teams were, were really clean as well. Here's a one play drive here. Cannon Turner breaks a couple tackles, dances around a few defenders, and then he just takes off, showing off his speed here, running straight through the back of the end zone for a touchdown. Yeah, Cannon was our offensive player of the game uh, this week. He had, um, he had, I think he was 10 of 13, passing the football for 146 uh, yards in the air, and then um, had 120 yards on only five carries um, as, a, as the runner too. So, uh, and, and two touchdowns through the air, two touchdowns on the ground. Yeah, Cannon was stellar. Um, also stellar was this Badger defense. Just, I mean, it looks like we could be showing the same play over and over again, because it was inside run and then swarming to the football and making those tackles to keep, um, to keep Harmony Grove behind the chains really. Yeah, it was really good. You know, we wanted to win on first down because we felt like if we win on first down, then we could put them in longer yardage situations that they're not good at. Um, and uh, we were able to do that. Our defense, um, again, just really good team defense. Uh, everybody doing their job and executing what they were supposed to. Zon Hatley, just a moment ago, 25-yard run. There was a penalty, so he moved the ball back. And the very next play, he breaks a nearly a 60-yard run for a touchdown. And he really is um, shown improvement over the last few weeks. He really has. He had over 100 yards rushing in this game, and um, you know, I think I think the play before uh, the 25-yard run that got called back, I think that made him angry. Uh, he did a great job of uh, of getting in the box on the next play. Um, really, just uh, accelerating on contact, uh, not being denied the uh, end zone. Uh, did a really good job. Right there, you saw Gabe Goodman kick the kickoff right back to the end zone. It was fumbled by the return man, almost could have been picked up by Cadelphia. They called a touchback, though. Um, Har Harmony Grove gets the ball, and they see him, um, you know, fool the Arkadelphia defense with a pass play there. Yeah, it's one of the few plays that we felt like uh, our eyes weren't right uh, reading our correct keys, and uh, so they're able to get, uh, get, their, um, get their tight end out in a route. Um, they connect right there and uh, just thought our defense really did a great job of running to the football and we had four or five guys there for, uh, for the tackle uh, and then uh, able to come up with a big stop right here and not allow them into the end zone. Yeah, it was a good pass breakup there from uh, Victor Tadme. Looked like he was playing a bit of a safety position. Cannon Turner here doing a good job. Um, you mentioned earlier on this show that you, you wanted to be better at taking off and running whenever there's no one open. And he did a good job there doing so. He really did. And this, this drive right here, you know, it, it doesn't end the way we want it to. 
you know, what we were trying to do, we had a minute, uh, I think a minute 52 left on the clock uh, for this uh, final drive of the second half and uh, really disappointed in this play right here because we felt like we were executing our two minute hurry up uh, really, really well. Uh, we make a check that, that really doesn't need to be made, but, but it's an okay check. And uh, we've just got to hit Buster in the face mask and then Buster's got to, got to catch that ball. Um, and then if it's on the ground when it's parallel or behind the line of scrimmage, we've got to get back on the ball. Uh, if we do get back on the ball right there, uh, if Buster gets back on the ball, uh, then, you know, uh, there's really no harm, no foul other than a couple lost yards. Um, so kind of disappointed we weren't able to put away into the mercy rule uh, before halftime. Yeah, halftime score was 28 to nothing. Um, Harmony Grove kicks off to start the first, second half. Uh, a little bit of a quick kick, but it didn't catch the Badgers off guard. They're able to recover. And then a good ball movement here on the first offensive drive of the half. That's one thing that I was pleased about, uh, you know, last, last week versus Fountain Lake. Uh, first drive of the second half. Uh, um, you know, I think, uh, I think we punted twice, two times in a row at the end of the first, uh, or at the Touchdown! beginning of the first, second half. Um, but right here, we come out uh, and we're able to, uh, to get it in the end zone uh, relatively quickly. And um, so really excited that we improved in that area. Yeah, I kind of did, didn't get a great picture on that touchdown play there, but um, the last touchdown of the game for the Badgers was Cannon Turner throwing it up to Victor Tadami, and Tadami kind of pulled it off the helmet of the Harmony Grove defender. It was a really impressive catch um, to put the Mercer Roll into place. So the, the clock was running after that first drive of the quarter, and Harmony Grove here against the Badger first team defense still not able to get anything going. Yeah, um, you know, offensively, Victor had, uh, you know, two two great catches again uh, for us for two touchdowns. Uh, so really, really proud of the way he's playing on both sides of the ball. Um, we get another stop right here. Um, and, and so, you know, just uh, trying to put the game away. This is where we put our second group in um, after we get the mercy rule. Uh, and that's really part of the reason why we wanted to put the mercy rule into effect. You know, our philosophy is we always want to go out first drive of the second half. Uh, on both sides of the ball, first series of the second half, both sides of the ball. Uh, our first group will come out one more time, um, and then and then we'll go to our second group. And Buster <laughs> Thomas did a good job playing quarterback here for for the second group. Um, you know, just like he did last week. KJ Terry was playing running back. Usually, I see him at safety. Um, fumbled the ball there, gave it back to Harmony Grove. Yeah, some of these run run heavy teams. Uh, you know, we, we end up taking a secondary guy out uh, and, and putting another linebacker in or another safety in. Um, and so KJ, um, KJ played a little bit on defense, but the majority of the time he played on offense, had a, had a couple champion blocks when he was in at wide receiver. And I thought he ran the ball pretty well. Uh, we just got to get better at ball security right there and, and we'll feel comfortable putting him in, uh, in, in, you know, in any situation. Yeah, Harmony Grove finally able to start moving the ball against, um, you know, the this, this second team for the Badgers. They thought, it looks like the team thought they had a turnover there, um, didn't quite get it, and then Harmony Grove able to get in the end zone here and uh, break the shutout. Yeah, we really wanted to, to keep that shutout, you know, um, and, you know, really what, what we've got to be able to do right there, and there's kind of a mix of ones, ones and twos, you know, just, uh, but, uh, but we really, we've really got to, got to be better at getting off the field on third down, putting them in a bad situation on first down, uh, and that's why they were able to move the ball and get in the end zone themselves. Uh, Badger offense comes back out to run out the clock here. Um, Buster Thomas, last play, of the, last play of the game, run out the clock. But all in all, it was a really good performance from the Badgers. On offense, dominating almost the entire game. On defense, dominating right up until the end when you allowed that last touchdown. And special teams, Gabe Goodman did a really nice job on special teams as well. So. He really did. He was our special teams player of the week. Uh, you know, and, and really what we want to try to do, some of the things that we've got to get better at on special teams, we've got to create those game-changing plays. Uh, we had an opportunity to block a punt twice uh, and, and didn't seal the deal on the block punt. Offensively, you know, that last drive in our hurry up, uh, we really want to, in the first half, really wanted to put the ball in the box right there. Uh, you know, and we've got to continue to get better at blocking 
with, you know, for our inside runs um, offensively uh, and then defensively, just uh, continuing to, uh, to be able to get aligned. We only had three misalignments uh, throughout the entire game last week, so that was really good for us. Um, and continuing to swarm to the football, uh, you know, those are things that, that uh, we've got to continue to get better at. Uh, continue to get better at our, our finishing of tackles. Uh, and I think, you know, if our players will continue to bring the energy and the effort that they brought last week to practice, uh, then we can continue to get better every week. Yeah, and Coach, the um, Harmony Grove is a difficult team to prepare for because they run the kind of offense you very rarely see. We haven't – the Badgers saw it against Wynn to, to a certain extent, the option offense, but really this kind of option the Badgers haven't seen yet this season. Um, so it's a bit more difficult, it requires more preparation, but really, it was really well executed on defense to stop that offense. Yeah, I really agree with you on, on that point. I mean, uh, you know, and we had guys that, uh, that really took our game plan seriously, uh, guys that decided they were going to execute the game plan and then play as hard as they could. I mean, uh, you've got uh, Josh Wallace, he was our defensive player of the week. He, he ended up with 14 tackles. Uh, Kai continues to make plays every week for us and then Sammy Hawthorne stepped in as one of those uh, one of those extra guys that came in for a DB uh, because of the type of the offense that that Haskell Harmony Grove runs uh, and Sammy had 12 total tackles so uh, you know and then our defensive line really uh, they did a great job of uh, of squeezing squeezing a down block and wrong arm and a puller uh, and doing those little things right that uh, that makes for a game plan to be successful. Uh, so we want to continue to do that every single week. Uh, once we come up with those ga game plans, really digesting those game plans throughout the week and then putting them into practice when we face our opponent on Friday night. Yeah, and a lot of people that watch the game might think that Harmony Grove maybe not, may not be as good of a team, but they're, they're a really quality team. They've shown throughout the year they averaged five yards a carry. Badgers held them to, what, two or three yards a carry, and then they beat two conference opponents already in, in Ashdown and in Malvern. So Harmony Grove really had a good record coming into the game. Yeah, they did. Uh, you know, and, and we felt like if we could uh, put our foot on the gas, um, you know, when we got out there and, and just uh, continue to, uh, you know, to do the little things right on offense, defense, and special teams that, uh, that we would be able to dominate the football game. Uh, but again, you know, uh, that's, that's where a football game is won. It's going to be won by the team that plays the hardest and executes the best. Uh, and we were able to do that this week, um, you know, in my mind and, and hopefully in our players' mind, that they understand that, uh, you know, practice, um, practice really equals – good practices equal good games. Uh, and so we were able to have a great week of practice. Uh, we were able to have a, have a well-executed, clean football game. Uh, and so we look forward to continue to work on making sure that we have great practices and, and, uh, and le letting those practices lead us into Friday night. Yeah, and the offense, we, we've talked about the defense, but the offense also was fired on all cylinders. And one area that's really seen improvement throughout the year and then on Friday night they really proved it because you, you saw the yardage that both Turner and Hatley had over 100 yards rushing, but that was – uh, due to the offensive line doing a good job blocking. Yeah, our offensive line is, is continuing to get better. We've got to continue to get better uh, at being able to block for the inside run, um, you know, and be able to finish blocks and have good downfield effort. Uh, you know, that's, those, are, those are places that we've got to continue to improve on, uh, you know, but there has been some improvement right there, uh, and we look forward to, uh, to continuing that improvement. And you're right, I mean, over the past two games, we've We've rushed for um, over, I think we had 263 yards rushing versus Haskell Harmony Grove. We had 293 yards rushing versus Fountain Lake. Uh, you know, so that's almost 300 yards rushing um, against Fountain Lake. But, uh, you know, the, the thing about it is we've just got to continue to, to get better at those things um, and, um, and try to be playing our best football um, as we move forward. Uh, toward the end of this conference season and then and then hopefully on into the playoffs. Uh, and then, you know, finally about this offense was Victor Tademy coming in. He is really a game changer on offense. He came in, um, made, only made two catches, but they're both touchdowns. Um, and then, you know, the, the first touchdown on the uh, go ride, it almost seemed like he was going half speed, burned his 
burned his cornerback, caught the ball, and then took off full speed, accelerating into the end zone. So it's just that immense amount of athleticism really allows some dynamic um, plays on, on offense. Yeah, really, I, I agree with you. Uh, Victor's been great for us on offense. I mean, he was the offensive player of the game versus Benton. Uh, you know, had, had Cannon not had such a, a great offensive game uh, this week, uh, he probably could have been offensive player of the game uh, this week as well. Had a great game versus Fountain Lake, two, two key catches there. Uh, you know, uh, had a good game versus Win. I mean, he's just, he, he has been um, a really good football player for us, a great football player for us on offense, defense, and special teams. Um, last year, he's majority of the time he's on defense and special teams, had some punt returns, uh, you know, but he would create some offense on defense. Um, had a couple of pick sixes last year. Uh, so, you know, he, he's been great for us, and we look forward to, uh, to continuing to be able to play him um, on both sides of the ball, uh, defensive, defense, defensively primarily, and then, um, and then putting him in on offense to really give us a spark and, and make those type plays that you're talking about. Yeah, and, and you, like you said, he, was, he could have been off the player of the game, and he only played two plays on offense. So that's, that's just extremely impressive. Right, really is. I mean, he um, he's, he's a playmaker, uh, you know, and um, you know, and not only Victor Victor's uh, he's good on the field, he's good in the games on Friday night, but he comes to work at practice. He also, you know, he goes to work in the classroom. He's he's committed to go to uh, to Harvard um, after he's after he's done playing at Arkadelphia, uh, you know, and and so. Uh, you know he's getting it done in the classroom if if he's going to Harvard. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, just doing a great job for us. And then you know off the field he he doesn't cause any problems. He's a leader for our football team. So uh, you know proud of what Victor has done and, and look forward to more good things from him. Yeah, definitely a great asset to the team. Uh, let's take a look at some of the scores from around the conference last week, Coach. Of course, Arkadelphia over Harmony Grove, 35 to six. Robinson getting a big win over Malvern, 32 to nothing. Boxite, a big win over Fountain Lake, 40 to 14, but this is really the game we're interested in. Nashville over Ashdown, 27 to 20, because when we go look at next week's score, uh, fixtures, you're going to see that Arkadelphia is traveling to Ashdown. So Ashdown really came back. Um, they, they didn't start the season off great, and the, especially the conference schedule, losing to Harmony Grove by two scores, but that game against Nashville showed Ashdown has some quality to their team. Yeah, they do. Uh, they've always got good athletes, uh, you know, and they they seem to gel. Uh, they they seem to gel late. Kind of last year was kind of different for Ashdown. Last year uh, they started off really doing really really good. Uh, they had some injuries and and then um, just um, you know didn't do as well toward the end, um, you know. And we've seen it before. I mean, 2000, I think it was 14. They kind of started gelling late. Um, and then, you, you know, so I guess the, the biggest thing for us is uh, to be able to really focus on, on, um, on taking the game plans that we have, executing those game plans, uh, and really doing a great job in practice to prepare for Ashdown. Uh, but Ashdown is, I mean, they've, they've found a way offensively uh, to, they're, they're going to be running the wing tee and uh, they'll do some other other things out of the wing tee. Uh, they were kind of going back and forth at the beginning of the year, uh, but we've got enough film on them to know to know, you know, what we think they're going to do. I'm sure that everybody, every team does it. Every team will have a wrinkle or two that we haven't seen. Uh, so we've got to be prepared for that. Uh, defensively, they do a good job of running to the football. They've got good athletes out there. Uh, so. You know, um, we're looking forward to the challenge. You know, I'm excited about our football players. I, I feel like our, our football team has really showed some character the way, uh, the way we started in the last two games about how we've, we've been able to, uh, to keep it together, continue to fight, and continue to come to work every week um, and really put some two good games together. Um, and so we look forward to, to attempting to do that again. That's a big change for, for Ashdown to move from the spread. They're usually in the spread, and they have so many athletes on the field. I mean, the past few years, they've had multiple D1 athletes, I think two years in a row, players going to University of Arkansas. So really good athletes on the field in the spread, and now they're moving to that wing tee. Does that mean that there's not quite as many athletes at Ashdown this year? I, I don't think so. I think, I think just their personnel dictates that. I mean, they've still got the opportunity to get – 
to get the ball to, to four or five different guys. They've got a good, good looking big tight end uh, that they use. They've got three backs in the backfield that, uh, that they'll distribute the ball to. And then the quarterback is, uh, he's done a great job uh, these last couple of games of really managing, managing the game and distributing the ball. Um, you know, and, and they've, they've kind of found a way to gel. So, you know, uh, it's gonna be a challenge for us, but we look forward to that challenge in, in practice this week. Yeah, and, and I think the Badgers proved this past week against Harmony Grove that they can stop that run-heavy offense. And it's almost scary to, to me to, to run that kind of offense against Arkadelphia. If you think about all the quality they have in the front on the defensive line and then especially in the linebackers, I mean, not too many teams have a linebacking core like, out, like uh, Arkadelphia has. And so – it's almost scary to run the ball against the Badgers so heavily. Well, hopefully we can continue to stop the run. You know, one of the things that we were we were not as good at was those were those closed situations early. I mean, uh, against Win, we gave up a lot of rushing yards, but but I feel like we have bounced back, and uh, our defensive line has really come on. Uh, our linebackers continue to play well, so we're looking forward to the challenge of Ashdown this week. Yeah, and then offensively, <coughs> um, the team's really gotten healthy on offense. Earlier in the season, you saw some injury problems kind of hindering the offense, but especially this last week against Harmony Grove, everyone looked to be full speed. Zahn Hatley, 100% last week. It, it seemed to me at least he was running through defenders, um, running around defenders, that really long touchdown run where he broke a few tackles. So he really looks to me like he's back at 100%. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, I you know, and and we're just we're thankful that we've got our guys. I mean, we're thankful that that uh, that Zion is back to full speed. Uh, you know, we're thankful that Buster, uh, you know, is back. And then you know, Victor, you know, he's been playing, uh, but he's kind of been playing on an ankle uh, injury as well. Uh, so you know, we're thankful to to be healthy. Uh, not everybody is healthy at this point in time in the season. Uh, so hopefully, uh, hopefully we can continue to pray about that and make sure that uh, and, and, and hope that our guys will continue to stay healthy and, uh, and just, uh, just play hard. You know, uh, that's one of the things I felt like, you know, if you look out there on film last Friday night, I felt like we had some guys that were playing with conviction, uh, especially on defense and then, uh, and then running the football. Uh, you know, I felt like our, you know, Cannon and Zion, our two top rushers in the game, uh, were, were really running the ball with a lot of conviction. And that's what we want all 11 that are on the field. Uh, that's how we want them to play uh, every single snap. Um, you know, and, and really one of the things that we've been talking about is every snap is an indication of how committed you are to your teammates and your coaches. Uh, and so hopefully it, it indicates that we, we're committed to one another every snap. Well, Coach, um, the team really looks like it's starting to gel. It's coming together. You're on a two-game winning streak and a lot of momentum going into a big game this Friday against Ashdown. The Badgers are going to be traveling to Ashdown Friday night. The game's going to be at 7 p.m. If you can't make the drive south, be sure to tune in to ArkadelphiaBadgerTV.com to watch the game on live stream or listen um, if we can't get the live stream going due to Internet issues. But we hope you'll join us then. And if and uh, we hope you join us again next week for the J.R. Eldridge Show. We'll be right back to discuss the highlights and the next week's game. So we'll see you then. The J.R. Eldridge Show is sponsored by Blake Bell of Edward Jones Investments, Welch Funeral Home, Southwest Sporting Goods, Arnold, Batson, Turner & Turner, Attorneys at Law, Justin. Doctors Rob and Gary Rucker, Southern Bancor, Taylor King, Personal Injury Lawyer, Mary and Martha's Florist and Gifts, Twin Rivers Health and Rehabilitation, Turner, Rogers, Manning and Plyler, PLLC. And Roger Wingfield of State Farm Insurance. Join us again next week for more Badger football action with Caleb Bird and head coach J.R. Eldridge.